The whole purpose of merging other workbooks into one or the original workbook is basically to accept all the changes that are made in the other workbooks. But you want to keep a few things in mind first. Number one, you cannot merge unshared workbooks, which brings to step number two. Once you share a workbook, make copies of that shared workbook for others in the office to make changes to, and then when you're done, open up your original and then compare and merge all their changes into your workbook. For example, I'm going to open up and show you the C drive that I've got my original, DF Payroll, Then I had two other employees working on Payroll 2 and 3. Let's take a look at them real quick. I open up DF Payroll. You can see here that we've got a few changes, like we've got Fox News, Britt Humes reassigned, and Frank Burns as part of a MASH unit. Close out of that. Open up, let's do the second workbook. You can see that whoever worked on that one deleted everybody else. And again, this is basically a copy of a shared workbook, the original workbook, which was, when I click open, the DF Payroll. And then Dreamforce Payroll 3 looks like they didn't make any changes. So in any case, what I'm going to do is close out and go back to my original workbook, which is going to be shared Dreamforce Payroll. And then when I want to merge the other two, all I have to do is go under the Tools menu, down to Compare and Merge Workbooks, hold down the Control key, and select the other two. Then when I click OK, let it do its thing, and it will compare the workbooks. And then if there are any changes or no new changes, go ahead and click OK and it will apply those accordingly. So one workbook didn't have any changes. The other workbook did where, remember, it, it deleted the rest of the employees from the payroll. So keep that in mind if you ever want to use the option of merging workbooks that A, you want to make sure that your workbook is a shared workbook and B, it can only share with other workbooks that are, are copies of that original shared workbook. And of course, just like when you share a workbook, you can accept or reject the changes that were made when you compared and merged the other two workbooks. Under the Tools menu, down to Track Changes and Accept or Reject. Basically, if you click OK, you can start right from the beginning, whether to accept all or reject all. If I go ahead and say reject all, there are 67 changes that were made, which, of course, we had 30, 50 employees deleted, but click OK. Everything comes back. When I'm done, be sure to save your work. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.